Hi there, welcome to this lesson. We are going to tackle an essay from a doll's house. Things are not always as they seem. Write a composition based on a doll's house to validate this assertion. We live in a world full of illusions where what you see is not always what you get. Truly, all that glitters is not gold. Nora's marriage to seems like a perfect, happy marriage, but it turns out to be a suffocating prison for Nora. First, Nora seems like a silly childish woman that is extravagant, hardly self-reliant and only good for housekeeping. However, her actions prove that she is wise, mature and strong-willed. We are told her husband refers to her as a little squirrel and a little spendthrift. Toward overworks himself and falls dreadfully ill. She borrows a loan of £250 when her husband falls sick in order to facilitate a year-long vacation in Italy for him to get some rest as recommended by the doctors. She does needle work and crocheting to pay of the loan herself. She also saves the money she gets from her husband so she is not a spendthrift after all. This is great sacrifice. When her husband rebukes her for borrowing the money, she leaves him. This shows a strong will and independence. It turns out that she was never happy after all. Indeed, things are not always is the same. Also, Torvald seems like a loving, strong, benevolent husband. Later we realize that he is petty, selfish and cowardly. He is a vain man who only cares about his reputation and what others think of him. The reason he gives for wanting to dismiss Krogstad is that he assumes an overly familiar tone with him when others are around. Even his wife finds this narrow-minded. He is too weak to deliver the promise to risk his life's blood and everything for Nora's sake. When he gets wind of Krogstand in painting blackmail, he calls Nora a criminal and a miserable creature and forbids her from raising the children. He is fearful of being exposed all that glitters is not gold. At first, Krogstad seems to be a bitter, vengeful extortionist, but we later realize that he is actually merciful and sympathetic. Nora borrows a loan of £250 from him and forges a father's signature in the process. Toward Helmer plans to dismiss Krogstad from his position at the bank after he is made the manager. Krogstad is forced to blackmail Nora in order to keep his job and clean his reputation. He writes a letter to Torvald with the details of his secret transactions with Nora. It asks all this for his two sons. When he gets reunited with Mrs. Linde, his old flame, he sends Nora's bond back, revealing his merciful side. Krogstad is an honest lover. Things are not always as they seem. Again, Dr. Rank is introduced to us as a very good friend to the Elmas. Nora says that he is Torvald's best friend. He visits them on a daily basis. Little did we know that he is secretly attracted to his best friend's wife. He even confesses this to her. His true motive for the daily visit is his love for Nora. And lastly, the Helmer's marriage appears loving, but it is not. It is full of lies, pretense, play acting, and an equal relationship. At first, Torvald seems like an affectionate, caring husband, calling her pet names and giving her money, and Nora appears happy, flirting with him and playing with the children. Cracks appear when we come 
to know of the deception. She lies about trivial things like eating macaroons to serious stuff like borrowing a loan without her husband's knowledge. She says she gets the money from her father. Torvald is also seen as a selfish man who does not love Nora but only cares about public reputation. Nora acts childishly but hides her true nature from her husband. Eventually, she's forced to leave Torvald. She says that she, w she was not happy at all. Surely, things are not always as they seem. And in a brief, appearance can be deceptive. It is true to say that things are not always as they seem. Thank you so much for having me take you through this uh, video. I hope it helps you improve on your literature. Kindly remember to like, please share and also subscribe.